Hey, this is Professor Homa. Welcome to our Intro to Word version 2013. We're going to do a little intro to Word and then we'll work on our first exercise for WD01 and I'll split those into two separate videos so you don't have to watch for so long. Uh, the first thing I'm going to go over right now, I'm in Windows 7, is I'm going to go over launching Word. Now of course I could launch Word down here from the icon on the taskbar, but if you didn't pin your icons to the taskbar, you could go into the Start button and it, it may be in the Start menu, but if they're not in the Start menu, you can go to All Programs and look for the Microsoft Office 2013 or 2010 folder. Click on there, and you could launch it from here. And you could also uh, hold your Alt key or Option key and drag a version up here and make a shortcut. If you wanted a shortcut icon on the desktop, you could do that. But I'm just going to launch it for here, for right now. And I think when it launches, it's going to take me into a like new blank screen. So I don't have to go File New. It'll start a blank document right here. There are other templates and documents I could start with, but I'm going to work with a blank document, and I'll click on that. And keep in mind, if, if that didn't come up and you needed to go File New, you could go to this File tab over here along the top. And here's File New. There's Save, Save As, um, Share. Also notice that you can save things to the cloud, which is called OneDrive, to your computer. You can navigate to your your folder on the computer where you're saving your documents. Also, options we'll go over later to set some defaults and change our interface a little bit. And if to get out of here, which this is called the backstage view, in case you didn't know that, you can just use this little back arrow to get back. Um, and right now, notice that we have tabs along the top. This is our ribbon, which goes along the top, and there's different elements that we can look at. There's an insert ribbon. There's a design ribbon, page layout. We'll go through a, a couple of these. Um, the first one I'll look at right now is the View tab. I'll click on the View tab, and you could see I have a place where I could check Ruler. If it's not on, check the Ruler, so you see a Ruler going along the top. There'll also be a Ruler going along the left side, which we won't use as much. But one thing you will notice is that there's these are the margins. You can see they come over about a one-inch margin, and it's one inch from this side. We have a, a letter size document, and we, we could change those margins if we want, which we will in a little bit. Uh, one of the first things to note here, other than just looking at our, our tabs up here and looking at our, our ribbon, is that everything's very white in this version. And I don't like it so white. I want a little more contrast. And where you could change this, uh, also note that we're in print layout. Um, where you can change this, you can go to File, and if you go down to Options, they have an area in Options. It's right in this middle area here um, called Personalize. And you can go to Office Theme, and they have white. I don't give you a lot of options here, but they have white, light gray, and dark gray. I'm going to change it to dark gray, and I'll hit OK. And I just like that look better because there's a little more contrast, there's a little more variation to my screen instead of seeing everything in complete white. Some people like dark backgrounds, but and I'm sure you could even get different variations. But for right now, this I like this a little bit better. Uh, the the older version before this had a little more blue um, in its interface. So anyway, let's go back. I'm going to go back to my home tab because we're going to use the home tab mostly. There's a, a font area, paragraph area, styles area. There's icons over here, format painter. That's for uh, you know copying different formats of type to other areas. There's a cut, copy, paste button. Up at the top, there's an undo button, a redo button. There's a save button. Okay, this button, I'm not even sure what that does. It just kind of, I guess, controls the window a little bit as far as restore, minimize, maximize, which you also have over here. Um, also notice this little uh, mini toolbar is coming up, and we could turn that off because I find that kind of annoying the way it pops up a little, but we can do that also from options. So anyway, let's get to uh, number six on our sheet. That was under number five, just changing the options, but number six, page margins. You can go to page layout, and I'm going to go all the way to the left side and go to margins. And if I click on there, you can see there's some defaults that are here. And what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the Office 2003 default, which is basically one inch on the top and bottom and one and a quarter on that right and left and if whatever you wanted to use wasn't here you could go into custom margins and open up a separate window and you could do that so I could go here and put um, on the left and right 1.25 and notice it doesn't go to 25 so I would have to put in 25 um, or I could cancel this and do it the way it says on the sheet and just choose the office 2003 default and you could see up here it changes the margins and they're now in an inch and a quarter. Now, if you see this little thing here, keep in mind, I'll go to my Home tab, 
and I tell you to turn this on, but mine is already on. Uh, that's called the show hide button. That will show you invisible formatting marks such as returns, which there's a return here to start. There's, you'll see spaces, tabs, uh, all, all those kind of things that normally won't print, you're going to see here so you could identify where there's a return, where there's a line break, where there's a space. Okay, so what I'm going to do first here is I'm just going to type my first name in this area here. I'm going to type Richard Homa. Okay, and I type my first and last name, and then I'm going to hit my return key, and I'm going to type an address. You could just type a fake address. I'll type 1234 Main Street, which it says on the sheet. I'll type that, and notice that when I do that, for one thing, Notice the font. It's in Calibri 11 point, which is a little smaller, and also it's a sans serif font, meaning there's no feet on these font, which I want to change to something uh, more like a, a letter type font. Also notice there's a space after uh, each time I type here. This isn't double spacing. My line spacing isn't increased or anything like that. There's a default space after. So what I'm going to do is highlight this text. I'm going to highlight both of these lines and you could highlight these lines by going right next to them, or I like to go outside and just use your white arrow and kind of click down, and that'll get everything a little bit easier than trying to get your cursor in there. And I'm going to go to my Paragraph Dialog Box Launcher. It's right here, and there are Paragraph settings here, just like there's font settings here, but if you open this, this will bring up a window, which this has been in Word for, uh, you know, the, the Mac version has a, has a window just like this, 2010, 2007, 2003 has the same window. So this is nothing new. This always pops up here. Some of the icons up here may be newer, but these have been around for a long time. This hasn't changed. But notice there's a default space after setting of zero, of 8 point. And I think in previous versions it was 10. And I like to take that off. I don't want to have that on, so I'm going to take that off right now. And you could click the down arrow and make it go all the way down to 0. And I'll hit OK. And now it's, now it's down to normal single spacing. The uh, WD01 exercise is changing these defaults because it's defaulting at Calibri 11 point font. It's defaulting with that space after. So every time you make a new document, it'll have that eight point space after. So I want to change that. So every time I make a new document, it's in a font I want. I want a font more like um, Cambria 12 point, which I'll, I'll show you in a minute. All right, if I want to change the font so it's not using Calibri 11 point every time, and also so it's not using all that extra spacing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to my styles. Here's the normal style, and that's basically the one that's default that every time uh, will come up when you make a new document or when you just start typing. And I'm going to right click on this, and I'm going to select modify. And I'm going to modify this style. Now we'll work more on styles later, but just for now this is the default and there's not a whole lot to do here. I'm going to change Calibri to Cambry. And you can see that Cambry is more of a serif font like you'd see in letters and resumes and and you know brochures it's kind of what you would see in newspaper or, or books so I'm gonna select Cambria it's kinda of like the old Times New Roman which used to be the default which you can still use and I'm gonna choose 12 point which is more of a standard size 12 points kind of the default size you would see on letters and also there's no place for paragraph spacing here there is for alignment like left alignment but I wanna go down here to format paragraph they have a whole you can set default tabs all kinds of things here but I'm gonna select format paragraph and there's my default space after of 8 which I'm going to change to 0. You could just click the down arrow or you could type it in yourself and I'm going to hit OK. Now one thing I'm going to do before I hit OK again right down at the bottom you see where it says only in this document or it says new documents based on this template. If you want all new documents to now take this as their default make sure you click this little radio button down here and hit OK. Okay. So now if I made a new document, I'll go File, New, and made a new blank document. You can see it's showing up in Cambria 12 point. If I type something and I hit Return, you can see now it's not using that extra space. So I'm just going to close this blank document because I'm not going to do anything with it. And it'll go back to, and I won't save it. Okay, now it's going back to my document that I was working on. And that's setting up the defaults. So that's all I really have to do for my for my word intro, um, everything I do next is going to be part of the uh, WD01 business letter, um, which we're just going to set up a basic business letter and set some tabs and adjust, you know, just adjust a couple things with that. So that won't take very long, but I'm going to stop here for my first video for the word intro, and then the next one will be the WD01 business letter.